All right. Hey everyone. So I'm back from Spain. I mean, duh. Obviously, I'm in my room and stuff. And it was really fun and stuff. I mean, some parts were kind of boring. I'm not even gonna lie. But I mean, overall, it was pretty fun and cool. Okay, but anyways, today I'm gonna be doing a hair routine, hair care routine, like how I'm growing my hair out, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna insert like clips like later on. I'm just gonna talk about my hair first. Okay, so I haven't got I haven't gotten the haircut in like <laughs> over a year. Yeah. So yeah, it's been a long time, but um around this time last year and wearing a black shirt isn't the best thing. And my hair is it's brown now. Like this since I was out in the sun a lot, my hair naturally I guess faded. <laughs> well, not naturally faded, but it faded. But I'm glad about that because I did not like that color at all. I didn't like it because when I first did, I was like, oh yeah, yeah. But then the next day, I was like, no, 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 no. I hate this color. I am making a promise to myself. I'm not going to dye it again, ever, unless until I get old when I get really bad gray hair, then that's when I'll dye it, because I don't, well, I've never had gray hair before, but gray hairs in general, like, freak me out for some reason, but my hair was, like, to here, so it's grown that much, however many inches that is, in a year, and I'm pretty sure it would probably grow faster if I didn't dye it so much, and didn't use, like, heat products. But, I don't know, over the past few, like, weeks or whatever, my hair was like, okay, like two months ago, two or three months ago, my hair was like right here, and it grew, so it's been growing, which is good, but I, it's okay, so, oh my gosh, I'm so like everywhere. Poo and conditioner that I used to use, um, I used it for like, a month and a half and it was the biotin and collagen bioorganic shampoo and conditioner and this stuff is amazing I absolutely love it but after I started using it like two weeks later my I started to break out really 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 bad and I didn't think of anything of it because I was still in school so I was like so I was just like oh it's just the stress from um, final exams and stuff there's nothing to worry about and then after school was over, I was like, they're going to go away eventually. So I kept using it, using it, and I was like, okay, the nothing, it's, it's not, it's getting worse. <laughs> so it was getting worse. My forehead was like covered in pimples. Ugh, it was disgusting. And yeah, so some people like react to, because it contains a lot of proteins, a lot of proteins since... It's for like hair growth and stuff to make your hair thicker and fuller and longer. So it has a lot of proteins and some people just can't handle that much of like proteins and stuff. And yeah, but I'm not saying don't go out and buy it because you're going to break out. No, I'm not saying that. Everyone is different. So it may not happen to you, but I really liked it other than, other than that. And I was going to finish it. But I was like, I can't take this anymore because it was, oh, it was so bad. So I stopped using it like last week. <laughs> yeah, last week. And my it's still like there's still tiny little bumps, but it's so much better than it was. Like it was god, it was so awful. <sighs> and it was like starting to spread around here. First it was only on my forehead, and then it started to spread around here. So yeah. And my friend Jenny, she um bought this. Because we both were like, oh, I want this, we want this. But there was only one bottle, so I got it. Because we went together. So I got it and stuff. And then she got it, and then her, she started breakout too. So it's like a 50-50 chance if you're going to break out or not. But I really did like it. Okay, so now I use the Mark Anthony Oil of Morocco Argan Oil. 
And this is just a really good shampoo and conditioner, and it's dripping on me. Gross. Shampoo and conditioner. Um, it's sulfite free, which is really good. So it doesn't like strip the natural oils from your hair. And it has argan oil, obviously. And it rejuvenates your hair and infuses moisture and shine and protects, like, if you dye your hair. It protects the color. So I really like that. And those are about, mm, I forgot how much it was. But you can get it from Walgreens. And then, like, once a week, I use this um, intense moisture mask, a hair mask. And it just, like, adds a lot of moisture down at your ends because they tend to get dry and gross looking and cracky. Well, not cracky, but split endsy looking. That's not even a word, I know. But, yeah, it's just the Hydrating Macadamia Oil Intensive Moisture Mask from Organics. And I really like this. Like, it was obviously filled to the top, and you can see now I've used the mess out of it. <laughs> see, I really like this. So I just like massage it only through my ends. I don't go up at the top, but through my ends. And then I like tie my hair up in a little bun. And I like wash my body, shave my legs, all that kind of stuff. And then I'll rinse it out. Because you're supposed to let it sit in there so it works. <laughs> but tips on growing your hair out. Uh, I would suggest to lay off the heat. I have been laying off the heat. Yes, I still like straighten my hair and stuff, but like I used to curl the mess out of my hair. I went through this stage when I was just like curling, curling my hair every single day, but then I started to wear like natural and stuff. Like I just didn't care really. I just didn't care. The whole trip, well until like the last few days, I wore my hair natural. So it does help because it just gives your hair a break. So it just has a break because you know we all need breaks your hair needs a break too so yeah so like I said I haven't gotten a cut since last year uh, I still I think it still looks pretty healthy yes I do have split ends and I get split ends really easily like after I go get a haircut and my stylist like she or when I used to get my haircut I saw she would do my hair and stuff at the end I would I still have split ends like there's no way I can get rid of them unless I chop my hair all the way up into here and that's not gonna be cute no offense to anyone who has that no offense but yeah and uh, I am gonna start back on biotin because I'm just gonna start back on it cuz yeah <laughs> yeah I was gonna start back on it cuz I felt like that helped too and when I put in my um, shampoo or whatever I like I put it up at my roots and I like massage my head so it stimulates your scalp because stimulating your scalp helps your hair grow and you can do like research on it I did a bunch of research on it and yeah it's like a proven fact because all the blood goes up to your head and all that kind of stuff and blood makes stuff grow so yeah but yeah and I hope some of those tips help. I mean, I'm not like an expert on hair growth. Like, I'm for sure this stuff is going to help you, like, with your hair growth. And I'm pretty sure you've heard these, like, everywhere. But in case you haven't, um, try to lay off the heat. I'm not saying, oh, completely stop your heat using tools. No. Um, hair mask or hair treatments are really good. I like to do, um olive oil treatment and I could do a video on that if you want me to because I really like to do that it helps a lot and oh I thought someone was moving behind me but I don't know it was like a smudge on my mirror yeah but yeah and oh ooh, another thing uh, after you get out of the shower Moroccan oil or Moroccan argan oil whatever is amazing like it has so many benefits for your hair to keep it soft and healthy looking and moisturizes your ends, especially if you don't like get your hair cut or use a lot of heat tools. It just moisturizes it and it's absolutely amazing. Okay, so now I'm going to get into my hair care routine after I stop talking and blabbering on and on and I'm very sorry about that. I usually don't make like long videos, so 
Hmm. So now I'm going to get into my hair routine. <laughs> okay, so after the shower, yes, I'm talking over. I always use, I always use um, a wide tooth comb. Wide tooth comb is the way to go because your hair, I know some people are like, I'm too lazy to do it, blah, blah, blah. It takes longer, but it's going to be better for your hair, trust me. And yeah, because your hair is extremely, extremely fragile when it's wet. So just use a wide tooth comb. I mean, just, yeah, I just, yeah. So I start at the ends very softly. I don't just like yank it out. I start at the ends very softly and I work my way up. But I use the one, if this would focus, one and only Argan Oil, Argan Moroccan Oil treatment. And I just put like, that amount in my hand whichever amount you see it's like a quarter size maybe yeah and I just distribute it in the ends of my hair and it just kind of locks in that moisture and condition not conditions your hair but just makes it soft and shiny okay the next product that I'm going to show you is the Redken Extreme Anti-Snap Leave-In Conditioner and I put in two pumps of this and same thing I just put it through the ends of my hair because I have a lot of split ends I'm not even gonna lie I do have a lot of split ends but I don't think you can notice so yeah I just put that through the ends of my hair and make sh and it, yeah and it's supposed to prevent like extreme split ends and it's just supposed to like kind of nurture them back to life <laughs> okay and then lastly I'm going to use the Beyond the Zone Split, wait, what is that? Split Mender Repairs Damage Ends. And this is just like another leave-in conditioner. And yes, I broke the pump, so I'm doing this very awkwardly and taking it out and just putting it on my hands. <laughs> so yeah, I just do that. And again, put it through the ends of my hair, just to condition them more. Because up here, it's perfectly fine because that's like freshly grown hair. And then, I let it air dry. I never blow dry my hair at all. Uh, I used to blow dry it, but now I think that's just a waste of heat and damage on your hair. Like, if I'm rushing, like, I have to blow dry my hair, then I'll blow dry it. If I'm, like, rushing in the morning or something, then that's the only time I'll blow dry it. But if I'm, like, sitting at home and stuff, I'll just let it air dry and it just air drying reduces the heat so you don't have to use that much heat on your hair because blow drying still uses heat and it still damages it now you see this is my natural hair and yeah I do wear it natural sometimes I don't straighten it all the time but I just want to show you what I do when I straighten my hair which is not much I'm like okay it's not much but yeah so I start out um brushing my hair to get all the tangles out and my roots take a really long time to dry in the back of my hair so I just take a blow dryer and I just leave it on there for like 10 seconds just to kind of dry it a little bit and then I wait about five minutes just so I'm not like putting heat on it back to back so yeah and the hair straightener that I use is the GHD Classic Styler. This thing is absolutely amazing. Um, best straightener I've ever tried. And I've gone through a lot of straighteners. But this is all time the best one ever. Oh, I take the Redken Shine Brilliance um, stuff. <laughs> and I just put like not even a dime size amount. Like a pea size. And I just put that all through my hair, and it just makes it really soft and easier to straighten. And it makes it really shiny and soft. So, yeah. So I do that, and then I'm going to put my hair up half and half, and then I'm going to use my Garnier Fructis Fine Iron, uh, what you call it, Miss Straightening Miss, whatever as a heat protectant and heat protectants are very important to use because you don't want your hair to like fry itself. I mean yeah your hair is going to fry anyways but it's going to like protect it more. <laughs> so yeah.
So yeah, just spritz that on there. And then I brush it out again just to make sure it's evenly distributed and no tangles are in my hair. And then I straighten it. So yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. And I'll just fast forward this part and whatnot. So yeah. Okay, and then after I finish straightening my hair, I take the Bedhead After Party. And this is just like a smoothing cream and keeps your hair. It has like tiny little sparkles in it. Not sparkles, but it just has like a sheeny sparkle look to it. And it makes your hair extremely shiny. As you can see, extremely shiny. And I love that stuff so, so, so much. It smells, oh my gosh, amazing. See, I kind of put a lot in it because I like my hair shiny. <laughs> but yeah. So that's like a nickel size and I just rub it through my hands and then distribute it all over my head and yeah that's how I get my hair looking like this and this is my hair routine it's been really requested so I thought I shall go ahead and do it so woo. so yeah I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for those who are like looking for new products to make their hair healthier and kind of help it grow. Well, like I said, um, it's not, it may not work for everyone, but I mean, it worked for me. So if you want to try it out and stuff and it works, then tell me. Because it makes me feel good to help people. So I hope you all have a wonderful week. Yeah, week. Since it's Sunday. Yeah week and a safe week and I love you all very much and I'm going to do like a haul of the stuff I got at Spain in Spain I mean so that should be up pretty soon after this video but I just wanted to get this video up because I just filmed it <laughs> so yeah all right peace out <laughs> okay I'm gonna go now